morning everybody it's Duke world now this Husqvarna came in yesterday no yesterday I'm sorry come in uh, let me think Saturday and uh, customers complained about it not wanting to crank well I uh, found out the uh, carburetor is full of trash, so I so I cleaned the, car I cleaned the carburetor, put a new filter on it. I'm going to take this panel back out of the way. But uh, I called him yesterday and told him he was running because it cranked just fine every, each and every time. It doesn't need plugs. All right. But anyway, this morning I'm going to do a fresh check on it because I came out here. The past two days it's been crazy, it's been starting just fine, no trouble whatsoever, and then boom, it didn't want to crank. So, I don't like that. So I'm going to do a pressure test on it. Might need to adjust the valves. He claims he just had them just, but they did it. You can just that doesn't mean just doesn't mean it's gonna work unless it's done right. And uh, the breather on it, he he said he just had this replaced. It's got a date of three twenty four twenty. That's not that's just not replaced. Uh, but it is, it does look very fairly clean. This, I took this off and cleaned, but the filter looks fairly clean. So, uh, and I blew it out anyway. So, uh, I am going to do the pressure test on it because I pulled the choke on it. And the only way I can get it to suck gas is to put my hand over the carburetor. So, it may be a little compression. If it is, I'll check the valves and I'll go from there. Pieces. Not as bad as the other one. I had one in here. I haven't worked, had to work on carburetor on it yet, but it was in bad shape. There's not so much to the sledgehammer to it. I asked the customer for me to fix it for him. He said, No, nah, you just get bent back up. And uh, he come back. And he had, this had a chain hanging around it. And I said, what happened? He said, I had to get, I had, I hit a tree. I had to fix, I had to pull it back out away from the carburetor. And lucky it didn't break the carburetor off. My next door neighbor over here, he got one identical to this one. This is, about three of my customers have got one of these. But they ain't no good, really. Mine wasn't. So you're a model older, newer than mine. I will have another. Well, now this has got a Kawasaki engine. It might actually do better. Mine had a Kohler. Discontinued model Kohler. Kohler engine. This has got a. Kawasaki, yeah. 
And I ain't heard of talk about these proper sock motors yet. Yet. That being the main word. Yet. Now I'm not going to try to do what I did last time. Last time I did a compression chest, <laughs> I had my finger too close to this right here. And it plugged. And it ate me alive. So, uh, that won't happen again. I've been cleaning the yard up this morning. Trying to get these leaves cleaned up in between jobs. This man, he's he said he's through for the year on yard work. He's not in no hurry for his lawnmower, but when I fix something, and I've got it for a couple of days, I gotta clean, I'm gonna clean them, plug and check, test, test the resistance on. I'm gonna park that sucker over there somewhere. Uh, Check this out first. If I can get it started. Yeah, that's right, son. Just not hold my mouth right. Once you get it cranked, it cranks all day long. I cranked. I got. I, I, I fixed it Saturday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning. All right. Let's see what it does. Right. And it won't work if I don't put that on right. That size is good. I've got about 125 pounds of pressure. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, about 120. No, that's 130 pounds of pressure. Yeah, 30, 40, yeah. 140 pounds of pressure. Well, I wanted you to see it, but I guess you can't. Pause it magnifies your picture. <laughs> All right, let's check the other side. I don't really believe it's compression. Uh, now, I may have flooded it this morning because I did smell gas while I was trying to crank it, and I had a choke on, so I may have flooded it. I mean, this carburetor was nasty whenever I, whenever I, uh, I took it off to clean it. All right, well, tell me what that says. I'm gonna set it. Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, be able to see it. All right, remember now it's upside down. All right.
Ooh, that side's low. It's all got a hundred pounds of pressure. Try it again. Check that. Yeah, about a hundred, let's say about 105 pounds pressure. So, at least it's about nine. So, left side's 105, right side's 100. What did I say, 120, 130? 130, 130 pounds of pressure. Not that now for I can get. See left was 100. Pounds. Right was 130. All right. <sighs> Clean these. Well, that didn't do any good. Let me clean these plugs and I'll test them. Test the ohms on That didn't mean that. Well, my gauge is in the house, I gotta go get it. Hey, bring my keys out here with me this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and go get that and then I'll take come back to this. Back in a minute. Well, let me get you back on scene here. Uh, y'all go out and vote yesterday? I did. I dropped, that must be the one I dropped. There we go. I don't know. Sit pretty damn close. Right. Yeah.
I got two multimeters. This one here, really not really a multimeter. It, it tests what it tests 110 up. That one tests AC and DC. This one doesn't test DC, so <clears throat> it tests ohms though. So let's see. That's good. Do it the opposite way. Okay. That's just ground right there. Ground's good. Core. No resistance at all, so it should be good. I set them both at 25,000s or 35,000s. Let me recheck that. I think I set them at 35,000s. It should be around 30. In Mexicans across the street get mad at one age to go hard. Can't understand a word they're saying. And I set them tight. 25,000. It should be good. Because as they get hot, they'll, they'll open up. Good God, I got that mix set on. I wonder if that's a week. I hope I'm not in your way too much. One thing I got to get used to doing that I keep forgetting about. Then take these off, set them out of the way, and work on this. No, I don't put a torque wrench to everything. I mean, I've been doing it so long, I usually just about tell it's right. Put this back where it belongs. All right, let's see. Is this your fire up? this stuff up first. Okay. 
Isaiah. See what it does. I know this is working because uh, Trash. 